Bruh, actually take me back to SA like today, bruh. Like, god damn, bruh. The most overrated thing in this life is going out in Lagos State. Bruh. Like, the, the, the peak of it being overrated is, is it, I've reached its climax, bruh. Like, this is the major difference between South Africa and Nigeria. In South Africa, you actually have fun. You have an amazing time. And it looks like you're having fun. In Nigeria, it just looks like you're having fun and you're not having fun. You have niggas that have the section, have the bottles, have the shorties all, all around them. Beautiful, amazing hunts. And all the niggas are on their phone drinking. Nigga, why are you on your fucking phone drinking in a party, bro? You can do that shit in your crib. Don't come in here with your negative vibes and your negative energy trying to make me look stupid because I'm dancing and you're not. Fuck you. Fuck you, bro. Actually, bro. Change, bro. And, and what's with this ordeal of... You, you 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 need to buy bottles, bro. I don't need to buy bottles to get drunk. I can get drunk of beer, bro. God damn, bro. In South Africa, they make bro. They make beer look so nice, so fancy. They give you buckets, you know, bring you shisha, put the everything. Y'all niggas trying to rip me off for of some fake alcohol, bro. It's crazy as hell. Y'all need to do better. Guys, honestly, Miracle Opi is one of the most funniest Big Brother housemates. Guys. Honestly speaking, some of the points he raised there, we really need to look into it too. Like, how can someone go to a party, go to event, go to joint to have fun and enjoy him or herself? When the person reached there now, instead of the person to just leave his phone, leave everything that has to do with phone and social media to enjoy and have fun, you see, these people, they will just be concentrated on their phone. They would be pressing their phone, just be like, ah, ah, wait till be this one, wait till even they happen more we really need to talk about it and address it here in nigeria even though i have not been to south africa because according to him he said it is quite different in south africa when people go out to enjoy themselves they don't allow anything to come on their way guys i really think that is the way outing and going to events should be not going there to be pressed and use your phone as though that is the only thing you went there to do anyways that is not even what we are here to talk about ladies and gentlemen we are in for another interesting hot gist that i know you wouldn't want to miss out from any part of it all you need to do my dear watch to the end of this video subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed click on the notification bell button and do not forget to give this particular video a very big thumbs up honestly i don't know why i always laugh out loud anytime i see or hear angel fans and some jail shippers coming on social media to tell us so g is a head shipper so g angel bestie is the one that is the head shipper of this some jail ship guys the reason why this one was trending up and down is because this particular video of angel and soji surfaced online and some jail shippers they were so so happy that angel bestie is a shipper and he is seriously rooting for angel and suma guy look at the video they shared online that made people to come out to tell us that ceo this person is actually rooting for angel and suma knowing me is a fucking blessing one well, thank god for your life that i came into your fucking life huh okay send it to suma <laughs> No, but that's real though. Send like, it to Soma, send it to Soma, send regardless, it to Soma, send even Soma, like, regardless Soma, of who the fuck you are. Some gel. Some gel. I'm a fucking. Some gel. What the fuck is Some gel. Some gel. I'm a fucking blessing, bitch. Some gel. Kneel the fuck down. Guys, honestly, watching that video, I was seriously cracked up. Honestly, the way I was badly cracked up, no be more. And if I tell all of you guys the reason why I was cracked up, the reason why I laugh out loud, um, you guys will be surprised and shocked. Anyways, if some just shippers, if Angel and Suma fans are saying Angel Bessie is the head shipper, who am I to doubt them? Who am I to say that? That is not true. Anyways, let's just go with the flow. Honestly speaking, that bestie bestie of Angel 
is our head shipper and we are definitely going to be following his lead and that is that for that one meanwhile guys not be smart you know there was something that Fina actually said yesterday that really touched my heart so so badly that I said in this particular video I am actually going to be addressing and talking about that so if you are watching up to this point guys let's quickly talk about and deliberate on this thing that Fina said on doing's corner yesterday it was about she talking about how the rumor of her slapping groovy really affected her and made her lose endorsement deal a very big and major endorsement deal because they feel that she is an abuser one very big brand that's actually told me their reason for not working with me they said i am um, they don't they can't work with an abuser what yes that they can't work with an abuser so this was this this and this was coming from that period uh bloggers carried around that i slapped um oh. this guy yeah so that one really because this one was see me see you they tell me to me told me to my face and i'm like okay honestly guys this particular conversation really got me thinking out loud and guys honestly speaking throughout my day at work today i was seriously deliberating and thinking about this yes you and i know if you've been following trend on big brother Nigeria, you will know that that time when it was rumored that Fina slapped Groovy. Guys, honestly speaking, some people we are of the opinion truly Fina slapped Groovy and some people we are seriously there debunking it saying that the word Fina in Big Brother house, Fina is not that kind of person that would have slapped Groovy or something like that. And guys, why all these things was going on that particular time? Honestly, me, if you have been following this my channel, I was just like, Groovy should actually come out to debunk this news if it is actually false. Like, I was one of the people that we are like, seriously looking forward to hear from Groovy in order for us to draw our conclusion. In fact, some people went ahead to call me shipper that I was shipping Fina and Groovy, this one and that one. That is why I am not saying the truth, that there is no way Fina will slap Groovy, they watch Fina in the house, she is not that violent, she is not this, she is not that. But honestly speaking, sitting down to think about what Fina said in doing corner, how that news actually made her to lose a major endorsement deal. Guys, it really made me feel so bad. Guys, the reason I was feeling bad was because I was just thinking, this is something Groovy would have just come out and say, Fina do not slap me. Look at the reason why you people are seeing that kind of color on my face. I was not slapped by anybody and guys who knows she might not have lost the endorsement deal that she talked about and guys i am using this opportunity to encourage each and every one of us even though situationship do not work between you and a particular individual and you hear any information that is wrong about that person and you know that that gist is actually a lie please do not let anything to deter you or stop you from actually coming to clear the person's name or say the truth because you don't know what you might be saving the person from you don't know how you might have been of a very great help to that individual guy just look at how a cooked up lie did affected somebody from getting a major endorsement honestly it got me so so worried today and i said there is no way i'm not going to properly address that this is where i'm ending this particular video go ahead let me know your thoughts subscribe to my channel click on the notification button please